Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if a driver cannot load on this device. And that's an error message you are receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for Windows Update. That's match, sure come back with Windows Update Settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath More Options and select Advanced Options. And then scroll down again underneath Additional Options and select Optional Updates. Any driver updates in here, just go ahead and select them and then check mark inside the box and select Download and Install. And give that a moment. So this might actually take some time to download, so I'm actually going to not show the whole process for this. However, that might be something you'd want to just give it some time. Let it finish updating the driver to the latest version. So, you know, you always want to have updated drivers if you can on your computer. Just, you know, from a security standpoint, not only a performance standpoint, but a security one as well. So just something that I would just keep in mind as good general advice. And once you're done updating that file, I'd recommend just restarting your device. Something else you can try here as well if you're still having the issue would be to open up the search menu and type in Windows Security. So it's doing a display driver update at the moment. That's why the screen just flashed. But anyway, so we just searched for Windows Security in the search menu, and we're going to go ahead and open that up. There should be an entry over here on the left. This is Device Security. Go ahead and open that up. And then underneath Core Isolation, you want to go ahead and select the Core Isolation Details option. And you'd want to go ahead and toggle that to the off position, at least momentarily, and then restart your computer, and then attempt to update the driver, and then you can come back in here and turn it back on if you choose to do so. But that's a pretty straightforward process in itself, guys. So like I said, hopefully that was able to help resolve the problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.